Hey, my dapper friend is here. Sister Dana. Hey, Sister Jean, how you doing? I see you locked in, Sister Dana. You getting some grocery? Good God. Uh huh. Sister Lynn, every praise. No. Can somebody just give God a praise? Nobody can get praise for God tonight. I like that, Keisha. God, my everything. We're now in the Empower to Win Hour. It's now 8:02 p.m. We are in the Empower to Win Hour. Can somebody give God a praise? He's the commander and chief. Ah, God, I feel like just releasing some worship right now. I feel like praising God right now. Can somebody ask? Can somebody ask? Can somebody ask? Can somebody ask? Can somebody help me praise him? Can somebody help me just praise him? Ah, Nabasaya. Judah must go up first. Can somebody release Judah? Can somebody release praise right now? Because when you release praise, you now must understand that the great must happen. Because according to Ephesians 3 and verse 20, ah, glory be to God. He said, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in you, you've got dunamis in you. Because out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. You're not just a conqueror, but you're more than a conqueror. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Can somebody release a praise? Because you're empowered to win. And when you release a praise, then something must happen. When praise is released, something must happen. Praise confuses the enemy. Praise releases blessing. Praise protects you. Praise goes before for you oh man da robo seteri abo sire of your blessing oh my god y'all heard the word that was released you can touch my flesh you can touch my body but you can't touch my favor that's the promise of our king
Can somebody prophesy to somebody in the encouragement room and just say the blessing is on you? So in other words, just type C she's royal name and just say after that the blessing is on you. Type Sister Pamela name and say the blessing is on you. In other words, say favor and blessing is on you. Ah. My God, my God, my God, my God. Y'all ready to celebrate? Come on, get back. Up. We're in the Empower to Win Hour. I got a word coming up. How many of you been in situations that you feel like you can't find your way out? You've been sick, you feel like you can't get healed. You've been bound, you feel like you can't get loose. You've been depressed and oppressed and you feel like you can't find and, and get some joy. But I got a word for you tonight. I don't know about you, but I want to declare and decree to somebody that because oh, we got favor on our side and the enemy can touch our property, he can touch our belonging, but he can't touch our favor because when God released him to touch Job, he said you can touch his body, you can touch his possession, but you can't mess with his soul. Oh my God. And I want to tell somebody tonight I don't know what you've been bound in But I came tonight To tell somebody Your emancipation has come It's time to come out And you're about to come out of it Oh God I'm going to talk to you in a minute But this is just the beginning the year of refreshing His plans here His plans are The time of your great The time of your great Expect nothing but Expect nothing but victory That's the promise of the That's the king. promise of the king Do exceedingly all I receive it. Sister Pam, Auntie D, I receive it. Anybody expecting great things here? Come on, everybody, lift it up, sing. In your finances, expect the great. In your relationship. Hey, my sister Janine, expect the great.
good God Almighty. Woo! Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh-huh. And guess who put the blessing on you? You want to know who, who put the blessing on you? And nobody can take it off. Because whom God bless, can nobody curse. Ask Balak and Balaam when they try to curse the children of God. And they could not curse them. Could not find anything wrong. Couldn't find anything from their generation. Couldn't find a way to curse them. Somebody got their mind on some holy cupcakes. Good God Almighty. I want you to get somebody right now. Invite somebody. We're in the Empower to Win Hour. And I'm getting ready to release the word. I'm getting ready to release the word for tonight. Somebody say he's unchangeable. Hey, Sister Janet is is unchangeable. Sister Lynn is unchangeable. 
Suzet bless his auntie. He's never, ever going to change on you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he's done before, he'll do it again. A matter of fact, he'll do it even better. Because according to Isaiah 43 and 19, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. He's going to do a new thing according to Revelation 21. He's going to wipe all our tears away. No more crying. No more di- dying. No more sorrow. No more sadness. Why? He said, because I am that I am. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. 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 The biggest shout of praise you've ever heard. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. He can turn your bitter water into sweet. He can turn your wilderness into oh God into place of rivers. He can quench your thirst. He can protect you. Heal you. Provide for you. Empower you. According to Acts 1 and 8. Ah. I wonder if somebody understand tonight. That in spite of all that you're going through right now. I can sense somebody. Somebody going through some stuff right now. But listen. If he brought you to it. He will take you through it. When he led them out of Egypt, he brought them to the Red Sea. He brought them through the Red Sea, across the Red Sea, on dry land. And when the enemy pursue you, he will cause your enemy to be destroyed behind you. Because you're not concerned about what's behind you. Don't catch look back itis like Lot's wife. And when she looked back, she became a pillow of salt. So many of us will look back too much until look back. Itis catches. Oh, good God Almighty. I'll explain that to somebody later. But don't let look back at it catch you. You look back too much and you can't worry about your past. Ain't no need to worry about your past. I don't care if you fail in your past, sinned in your past, fell down in your past. Oh, good God Almighty. Been broke in your past, been sick in your past, been disappointed in your past. Your past is over. Pass your past because your future is here and better days are coming by and by. My God, my God, my God. Better days are coming. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I just want to encourage you that even the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, he's going to do it for you. Man can't do it. Man will forsake you. Man will leave you. Man will run away from you. Man will plan to stone you. But if you look to the hills, from whence come at your help? Your help coming oh my son that of our sire. Somebody declare he's able. You may have tried everything you can think of down to your last ounce of faith. Somebody say he's able. Somebody say he's able. Somebody say he's able. Somebody say he's able. Ah, I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to release the word. 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 God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up.
there's a shift in the atmosphere we've been celebrating and dancing we've been praising we're gonna worship our way into the word there's a shift in the atmosphere we cover you as you go on the road landy know that you are covered by the blood Somebody, can you sense a shift? Oh, Masha, la bosse de Kenoshi Aranamata. Can you sense a shift in the atmosphere, Masha Kora Basai? Mandelebosa. I feel a shift. Somebody says there's a shift. Ah, ah. Somebody needs to know. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, somebody give God some glory in this place. Jesus. Come on, man. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. It's time to go up to Bethel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For him that I declare, have your way, Lord. Somebody say, Have your way, Lord. Somebody just say, Have your way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up to Bethel. Somebody say, Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Even as I pierce the side of Adam and calls. Lord in every person that is represented in the encouragement room every family that is represented in the encouragement room every family that is represented at the sound of my voice God I ask you tonight uh, when the disciples ask Jesus how we should pray uh, Lord God we don't want to pray amiss so when we ask you Lord Jesus teach us how to pray he said pray like this when you pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name uh, thy kingdom come let thy will be done on earth uh, uh, as it is in heaven so we ask you tonight God uh, that your will be done on earth God in other words uh, we surrender our free will uh, for you have given us a free will to choose God uh, you have not imposed yourself upon us uh, you have not imposed salvation upon us uh, you have not imposed blessing upon us uh, but you said you have given us the free will to choose uh, but God tonight we declare and decree that we choose to surrender our free will back to you and say let your will be done nevertheless not my will as your son declared but thy will be done let your will be done on earth as it is already done in heaven for you're giving us the keys to the kingdom and you said whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven in other words heaven comes in agreement whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven so right now God we bind up every principality we bind up every power 
power. We bind up everything that seeketh to exalt itself above the world, above the nature of God. We bind up every obia. We bind up every voodoo. We bind up every palm reader. We bind up infirmity. We bind up homosexuality. We bind up lesbianism. We bind up occultism. We bind up witchcraft. We bind up rebellion. We bind up loss. We bind up pornography. We bind up adultery. We bind up divorce. We declare and decree God in the name of Jesus that healing be loose. Blessing be loose. Prosperity be loose. Salvation be loose. Let it be loose here on earth as it is in heaven. Have your way, Lord. It's 8 30. We're half hour into the empowered to win hour. The, the word of God comes from the book of Ezekiel. Lord, touch baby Elisha right now. Touch the parents of baby Elisha right now. Touch the doctors of baby Elisha right now. Touch every equipment, every medical equipment that is attached to baby Elisha right now. Father, we don't know what the outcome is, but by faith we believe that your will has to be done in his life. Father, we are asking for a miracle tonight. We're asking for a miracle for baby Elisha right now in the name of Jesus strung upon all those machines we declare the miracle work in God to make a change right now in that situation for the book of Remember the Bridges family God Eric Bridges God Who is in an induced coma right now Organs are shutting down But we prophesy to his organs God If his purpose here on earth Has not been completed Then we cancel premature death In the name of Jesus Healing take place in the name of Jesus the book of Ezekiel God the Lord said I encourage somebody tonight and tell you your wait is over you've been waiting for a long time but your wait is over even as I declared in Isaiah 40 31 that they that wait upon the Lord shall your shall is coming your shall is coming your shall i hear the lord said to tell you your shall is coming i don't know who it, who it is for but your shall is coming your shall is coming they that wait upon the lord shall your shall is coming ah my son let me let me help you understand shall renew their strength your st ah. your renewed strength is coming ah mama side your shall is coming here's your shall your shall you shall be renewed in your strength you shall mount up with wings as eagle you shall run and not be weary you shall walk and not uh, ah jesus somebody better be come get me out of this studio is. I'm about to lose my righteous mind. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel Jesus. Ah! I feel Jesus. I feel you. I feel you. Can somebody release a worship? Somebody release a worship. Somebody release the worship. Oh. Somebody release the worship. Mama, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. 
I want to share the word, but the spirit is moving. It's not about me, but it's all about you. Somebody, 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 somebody is being healed right now. Somebody's being set free right now. Somebody's being encouraged right now. It's not about me, Lord. But it's all about you. Somebody release the worship. God is healing. God is healing. God is breaking. The breaker, the breaker, the breaker. The breaker is here. Walls are coming down. Oh, Mandela, Messiah, Rabasanda. Some of you, you can't prosper. You can't prosper because there's a curse that's been released over your life from you were a child. Somebody envied your mother and they sent a curse over you. But I dare you to believe tonight by the power of the blood and the might of the cross every curse that have been sent every altar that have been erected for you to be demise for you to fail for you to die I destroy them by the most we tear every altar of Balaam down every altar of Balaam to curse you down we tear down the altars oh my god I'm a son I'm a son I'm a Every altar, we tear them down. Every altar of Baal, just like Elijah did on Mount Carmel, he tore down the altars that were erected and he rebuilt the altars and he called for the God that answers by fire to send fire from heaven on no corrupt I tear down every altar of Baal in your life, Baal of lack, Baal of suffering, but my son, the robo and I rebuild, we rebuild, we rebuild the altar in worship we rebuild our altars with worship we rebuild our altars with worship god we worship with worship from our hearts from our soul from our spirit we worship you we worship you Somebody just lift up your hand right where you are. I dare you, I dare you to lift up your hands right where you are. Because as you lift up your hands, as long as you are in the spirit realm right now, there is a glory cloud that's over you right now. And when you lift up your hands in surrender to him, God is about to shift the atmosphere in that room, in that house, in that car, on that floor. Wherever you are right now, God is about to shift. You can feel, you can sense somebody out there. You can literally feel the tangible presence of the Almighty God because he said, I am there with you. I know you're going through, but I am there with you. Your empire. 
empowered, you're 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 empowered. of Ezekiel the book of Ezekiel the book of Ezekiel chapter 46 and verse 9 Ezekiel chapter 46 and verse 9 and it reads thus but when the people of the land shall come before the Lord in the solemn feast I don't know about you but we are here in the presence of the Lord tonight with a solemn feast of worship when the people of the land shall come before the Lord in the solemn feast. Watch this. He that entereth in by the way of the north gate. Somebody said the north gate. Watch this. To worship. Let, let, me, let, me, let, let, let me turn this thing down. Because I want you to see how prophetic. There, there, there's a reason why God allowed us. Before I even share the word. Remember I, I, I was telling you it's time for the word. But the Lord shifted the atmosphere and shifted us into worship the lord shifted uh, shifted us into worship I, I i'm gonna show you how prophetic this scripture is i didn't even see it until just now watch this watch this how prophetic this is because some of you came into this encouragement room you came on the air tonight you came on empowered to win program tonight uh, in one condition in one way in a situation but watch this i promise you you're not going out the same way you came come on turn to somebody and say you're not going out the same way you came some of you came in here broke busted and disgusted some of you came in here asking god seeking god for a miracle for a blessing for a breakthrough some of you came in here seeking god for a supernatural turnaround in your life and now that you have entered in in worship you are not coming out and going out the same way you entered in. oh god let me help you let me help you it, it, it says it says it says 
he that entereth in by the way of the north gate watch this to do what to worship uh, Auntie D, Auntie D, our, our sister Pam whoever I want you to find the scripture Ezekiel chapter 46 and verse 9 whoever finds it whoever finds it put it in the in the encouragement room right now put it in the encouragement room so someone can see and understand what I'm talking about but when the people of the land shall come before the Lord in solemn feast he that entereth in by the north gate to worship watch this to worship we entered in to worship god into this realm into this shit just now watch this uh, shall go out by the way of the south gate oh somebody better get this uh, and he that enter it by the way of the south gate shall go forth by the way of the north gate i don't know but i just want to paraphrase he that came through the west gate shall go through the east gate and he that came in from the east gate into worship shall go through the west gate in other words wherever whatever direction you came in from tonight whatever situation you came in by tonight you are not going out the same way you came something is about to happen in your life something is about to happen in your ministry something is about to happen in your finance something is about to happen in your family something is about to happen in your body in your mind in your spirit demons have to flee somebody's about to get some good sleep tonight you've been tormented tossing and turning for the last several nights can't sleep but you came in one way can't sleep but I prophesy to you that you shall sleep in perfect peace tonight because you entered in one way in worship but you're not in oh, God help me tonight you're not leaving the same way you entered because he said he that entered it by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out by the way of the south gate I want you to turn to somebody in the encouragement room and put their name before it and I want you to say these words to them sister Scott sister Lynn she's royal brother Andrew Eric in, in Bronx everybody in the encouragement room Janine I want you to turn to somebody tonight and prophesy to them and tell them these words I'm coming out empowered to win I'm coming out empowered to win I'm coming out of my situation out of my slumber out of my mess you thought your mess was about to destroy you but your mess was preparing a message you thought your setback was about to destroy you but your setback was a setup because the bounce back anointing is on your life and I speak over you tonight that the bounce back anointing is about to reach you right where you are I don't care where you are you could be in the hog pen like the prodigal son you could be in the valley of dry bones like those dry bones you could be like David in the valley of the shadow of death you could be in the, in the lion's den like Daniel you could be in the fiery furnace like Shadrach, Meshach and Abad Negro but I come tonight to tell you that you're about to come out empowered to win I call you out of your situation out of your struggle out of your disappointment out of your infirmity oh can somebody help me tonight somebody oh god help me tonight i better get on out of this place if i can keep it real with you tonight my brothers and sisters i am convinced that many of us many of us many of us have continued have and continue to find ourselves in situations that has brought us much trials and tribulations i don't want you to get discouraged when you go through trials and tribulations because according to psalm 34 and verse 18 it says for many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord shall deliver them out of it all 
according to James 1 verse 3 and 4 it said let patience endurance let it have it perfect work in you because it's gonna perfect you and you're gonna lack for nothing I'm just paraphrasing it so there are many of us tonight that have been through much trials and tribulation I don't know about you but 2014 brought me much trials and tribulations I almost lost my mind in 2014 I almost went broke in 2014 I almost divorced in 2014 I almost committed suicide in 2014 because many trials and tribulation hurt and pain heartache and heartbreak living in fear of our enemy tear stained pillars sleepless night and restless days broke as a joke broke busted and disgusted money acting funny and chains acting strange families and situations jacked up enemies seemingly victorious over us feeling defeated and we feel as if God is nowhere to be found am I talking to myself tonight as we continually go before him asking him to grant our request interceding fasting and praying throwing oil pleading the blood after all that we have endured over these few months and years of our life all many of us want to know is when all we want to know is when when what when it is gonna happen when is it gonna happen for me I saw Pookie and them getting blessed I saw the Joneses getting blessed I saw the Smiths getting blessed oh when am I gonna get blessed but can I talk to somebody tonight and tell you you entered into worship tonight you came in one way but the Lord said to tell you you're not gonna leave the same way you came because I came tonight with a word that you're coming out empowered to win you're coming out oh my god what you have sowed in tears you're about to reap in joy whatever you have sowed in tears you are about to reap in joy can I talk to somebody tonight you asking the question when will it turn around for me when is God gonna flip the script when will my enemies be defeated and I come out victorious all I want to know is when on earth am I gonna come out of this mess come out of this situation come out of this failure when God when am I gonna come out but I come to tell you tonight your coming out party is here cancel the pity party hang up the phone of depression hang up the phone and stop calling he she and the old lady all you gotta do is pick up your phone and dial central central never busy always on the line you can talk to Jesus almost any time oh God David found himself in a situation where he was about to be stoned by his loved ones his brothers and, and friends in 1st Samuel chapter 30 Job found himself in a situation where his brothers turned against him wife called him foolish why don't you just curse God and die but Job said I'm going to wait until my change come though he slay me yet will I trust him I know it's a hard thing to say because a lot of time God will cause us to go through some test and trial because when you are tested and tried and proved worthy then you will get the victory oh my God Peter I know the enemy wants to sift you like wheat but it's not a bad thing to be sifted by wheat because the wheat and the grain and the wheat and the tears have got to be separated so the reason why you've been going through a sifting period is because God is sifting some people out of your life have you ever wondered 
why some people have turned against you have you ever wondered why some people have walked away from you have you ever wondered why some people have given up on you let me encourage you and tell you why you came in one way but you're leaving another way you came in as a chicken but you're leaving as an eagle when the eagle begins to soar and get to an altitude where chickens can't go all of a sudden the chickens that's been holding on to your life oh my god my god begin to fall off because God is taking you to an altitude that you've never been before God is taking you to a place that you've never been before God is taking you to a level of worship that you've never encountered before we are in a time where evil is rampant but as much as evil is in the world God's grace is sufficient wherever sin is grace abounds even greater I want to talk to somebody tonight you came in messed up but you're gonna get out blessed up you came in broken but God is about to put you in the band of the potter because you're marred in the hands of God just like the clay is in the hand of the potter the Lord know it the way of the righteous and he says in Isaiah 45 and verse 2 that he goes before us and made the crooked path straight he tear down the gates of iron and doors of brass I cannot talk to somebody tonight you came in one way but you're coming out empowered to win you came in sick but you're coming out empowered to win you came in broke busted and disgusted but you're coming out empowered to win can I encourage somebody tonight I don't care who your mama is I don't care who your daddy is I don't care who your grandma grandpa great grandma great grandpa cousin auntie uncle I don't care who they are they're not bigger than my God and you're about to experience a metamorphosis your DNA is about to change your identity is about to change your name is about to change because you came in as a deceiver but you're gonna come out as Israel you came in as Abraham but you're gonna come out as Abraham you came in as an accuser of the brethren a, a persecutor of the brethren Paul but you're coming out as an apostle can I talk to somebody tonight and let you know you can't run no more you can't hide no more get off the ship Jonah and get to Nineveh get off the ship Jonah and get to Nineveh because the Lord is sending you to change the nations your time is here your hour is come and you're coming out empowered to win you came in one way in worship through the north gate but you're about to drop all the baggage drop all the mess drop all your past you're gonna leave it at the entrance door because you're gonna exit on the other side of praise of worship of a miracle somebody better receive it tonight it's your time it's your hour and you are empowered to win you came in one way Oh God, but you're about to exit the other way. I prophesy to you tonight by the grace of God that is upon my life that God is about to do something supernatural in your life because you came in one way, but you're about to exit the other way. You're not coming out the same way you entered in. You're coming out empowered to win. You're coming out full. You're coming out with a miracle written all over your name. 
somebody's about to look at you in the next couple of weeks and said what in the dickens happened to you somebody better tell them according to psalm 5 oh god the devil has messed with my stuff but he couldn't touch my favor i'm coming out of my apartment and i'm going into a house i'm coming out of the bus and the taxi cab and the train and i'm getting in my own car i'm coming off this disgusted job and i'm about to open my own business i'm coming out of this hospital room and i'm about to walk in healing I just want to worship him. I just want to tell you tonight. You are coming out. But you're not coming out empty. When God told Moses to tell the children of Israel, get ready because your emancipation has come. If you read your Bible, God, Moses encouraged them to borrow borrow from the egyptians borrow all the possessions silver gold all this the, the stuff borrow from the egyptian because he said you won't need to pay them back because the time has come for you to come out and i prophesy to you that you're not coming out empty you've been bound in egypt you've been enslaved in egypt for far too long and i came to tell you tonight the lord has heard your cry the lord has accepted your worship your worship has gone up to him as a memorial and he said listen you're coming out but you're not coming out empty you're coming out full You're coming out, Suzette. Tamika, you're coming out. Andrew, you're coming out. Pam, you're coming out. Props, you're coming out. She's royal, you're coming out. Miss Lynn, you're coming out. Auntie Dolores, Sister Erica, Sister Erica and Barbados, Sister Opal, you're coming out. Oh, Into your praises, coming out. Caribbean Gospel Radio FM coming out. Somebody say, I just want to love. Lady Ashley, you're coming out. Sister Dana, you're coming out. Oh, 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 oh. Elisha, baby Elisha, you're coming out. You're a man, they Lila Masanda, Janet, you're coming out, Sister Janet. You're coming out, Sister Janet. TK, you're coming out. Janine, you're coming out. Paula, you're coming out. Hola, siete, queremos satia de Masai. Brother Lou, you're coming out. City, you're coming out. Oraba Sunday. Bakora basa koriyanda na basa tarabase. Ha ha. We're coming out empowered to win. Our children are coming with us. We're not leaving our children. Our children will not die to the hand of the enemy. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I know our children may be out there right now, but they're coming out of their mess. They're coming out of the. Oh they're coming out of the influence of whatever company they're in. They're coming out. They're coming out of school with good grades. You're coming out. You're coming out. Oh, my God.
Kila makusi terede biasa. Urama mando sila mama masela na mama seke noro la bosa. Sister Tamika, you're coming out. You're coming out, you're coming out, you're coming out, you're not coming out empty, sister Tamika. You're not coming out empty. Brother Lou, we're not coming out empty, brother Lou. I don't care who is with us, who is against us, who is for us, who is fighting against us. We're not coming out empty, we're coming out empowered. This is the air I breathe. This ministry coming out empowered. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very Somebody say, Ah, oh, yeah, that I'm a Oh, God. Baby Elisha coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. Eric Bridges coming out. The Bridges family coming out. Ah, Can I just spend a few more seconds, a few more minutes, and just intercede for somebody tonight? All our unsaved family members coming out. They're coming out of sin. They're coming out of the world. Ah. Oh, we worship you for our unsaved loved ones right now, Lord. And we ask you to bring them out. Bring them out from the grips of the enemy. Our sons and daughters, our wayward sons and daughters, bring them out, oh God. Bring them out, God. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out, God. Lord, we're at a level of desperation. Save our sisters, save our brothers, save our mothers, save our fathers, save our relatives, God. We don't want to come out and leave them. The emancipation has come. It's time to come out of Babylon. It's time to come out of Egypt. It's time to come out of the wilderness. It's time to come out of the valley of dry bone. It's time to come out of Lordy Boy. Because our seat is at the king's table, my fever shot. Oh God, it's time to come out. Come out. I'm out. I'm out of struggle. I'm out of sickness. I'm out of poverty. I'm out of lack. Let it rain, God. Let it rain. Let it rain. Oh, I'm asking the Lord. I'm asking the Lord. I'm asking the Lord. I'm desperate for you. Lord is a desperate cry for the nation, for our government, for the economy, for our co-workers. For our bosses, for the companies we work for, the businesses we own, there's a cry. We need you. I'm all sick. We need you. We can't live without you, God. We can't breathe without you. We can't survive without you. Judah, 
you must go up first. We send up Judah first. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you tonight. We're desperate for you. We have you are hungry for God. We're longing for you. Are you hungry for us? We repent to God for all the ministers that have turned the ministry into a business. Into a place of greed and gluttony. While your people are struggling and suffering, God, we repent for the ministers. Father, we've moved away from miracle signs and wonders. And we have let the church become a church of prosperity gospel. But you said these signs shall follow them also who believe. In your name we shall cast out demons. In your name we will cast out demons. We shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover Lord. We don't see no miracles taking place in these churches. But all we see is the building getting bigger and bigger. The cars get fancier and fancier. The planes getting expensive and expensive. And yet the people are dying. They're suffering God. We repent. We repent. Marriages are being affected while homosexuality is being legalized. But we come against that spirit. Sing out. We intercede for our marriages. We intercede for our families. Our children are being influenced by drugs and alcohol. But yet they're taking the Bible out of school. Lord, release. But we travail for the nation. We travail for your people. We travail for the ministries. God, we need you. God, we need you. God, we need you. consumes his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of all the earth, the heavens proclaim his righteousness and all peoples will see his glory.
moment to come but we're so stuck in concern about the chronos the chronological timing someone's kairos moment has come tonight someone's kairos moment has come tonight and everything is gonna be okay 
Because we are in his presence. And in his presence there is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. What is your passion? Whatever your passion is, that's what's going to drive you. My sole purpose and passion is to worship God. I'm sorry, I'm a little different from others. I don't just like to have fun. I just don't like to preach the word. My worship is priority in my life. Because that's what's kept me over the years. When I felt like giving up and throwing in the towel. His worship that has kept me. His presence. Is what has kept me. Paul said that I may know him. The power of his resurrection. The fellowship of his suffering. The amplified version said to become intimately more acquainted. Knowing him. So as we bask in his glorious presence tonight. We thank him for the miracles that's about to take place. We thank him for the breakthroughs that's coming our way. We thank him for the healing that's taking place even right now. See, there are times when we stay in worship and we don't know. We're worshiping for something that God's about to do tomorrow. But we're not just waiting for it to happen tomorrow. We're going to worship now. We're going to praise now. We're going to thank him now. There's a change coming. For many of you, the change has already come. Auntie D, you sure it's only a layover? I'm going to come in. I'm going to come at the airport. I'm going to hijack the airport, Auntie D, so I can get to see you. We look at the world around us. But it's okay if I don't see you tomorrow. Brokenness. I'll see you in Canada. Poverty. In November. Father, it is I want to thank everyone for see Jesus. taking the time out tonight to just come and fellowship with me on this program, the Empower to Win program and the Empower to Win Hour. I want to thank my boss. Yeah, he's my boss right here in the studio. My boss, Sister City and Brother Lou from ATL Praise House for allowing me the opportunity to share the gift into the world. I want to thank each and every one. I want to thank my family for supporting me. I want to thank my spiritual father and mother, Bishop De- Apostle Devon A. Swaby and Prophetess Jacqueline Swaby. I want to thank each and every one of you in the encouragement room from ER2, from CGRFM. I want to thank each and every one. I want to thank my family, my wife, my children. I want to thank you all for never giving up on me. There are many a times when... Uh, I was going through and I would take time away from the studio to get things together. See, that's the problem with a lot of us. We're so packed up and filled up with pride that when we know that we're going through, and sometimes even when we're failing and we're going through some mess, we try to hide behind the anointing. And God is telling us to take a, to take a break for a while. But we just want to be seen. We want to be heard. But I thank God for allowing me the opportunity to fall down I want to thank him for breaking me I want to thank him for breaking my character breaking my integrity and I want to thank him for now rebuilding and empowering me because the things that used to affect me won't affect me no more because I'm empowered to win because I'm not I'm not coming out anymore i'm out can somebody just release one more prophetic word and and just say i'm not coming out but i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm not just uh, 
That, that was for a few minutes or an hour ago. My coming out was for a few minutes or an hour ago. I received the word and when you receive a word, something must happen. A change must take place. And the change that has taken place is I'm no longer coming out, but I'm out. I'm out. So we thank you, Lord, for our emancipation, for our liberation. We thank you, God, that we came in one way, in worship, but we're not leaving the same way we came in. We're out. We're out of that mess. We're out of guilt. We're out of shame. Someone at the sound of my voice, you felt you've, you've done some wrong and guilt has been taken over you. Romans 8 1 said, There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus that walk it after the spirit, not after the flesh. Not walking after the flesh, but after the spirit. Eagles, we're out, eagles. We're out, eagles. We've come out. And it's time to soar time to fly I love you all from the depths of my heart I truly sincerely honestly love you all I love you guys you're an awesome awesome people of God and from my family to your family we love you we thank you we appreciate you may the grace of God go with you May we watch between you and I. Please pray my strength as I pray for you. I mean to make heaven my home. I want to see him. I want to see Jesus. To look upon his face. The one who saved me by his grace. The one who takes me by my hand and leads me to that promised land. I don't know about you. But I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. I want to see my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the dear Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he lift up the light of his countenance. Be gracious unto you. Grant unto you his peace. A shalom, nothing lacking, nothing missing, nothing broken in your life from this time forth and even forevermore. May God continue to bless you. I leave a blessing upon this ministry, ATL Praise House, upon this household. In Jesus' name, upon your household, receive ye your blessing. In Jesus' name. I surrender to you. Please remember, Auntie D, can you type this in the encouragement room for me, Auntie D? Please remember, the Morning Glory program, we've got an email address created. Send all your prayer requests, all your testimonials. If you just want to send me and my family a word of encouragement, you can send us, email it to us there. Auntie D, get ready to type this in the encouragement room for me. You can email morning glory worship the number seven at gmail.com. That's morning glory, all one word. There's two G's, the G at the end of the morning and the G at the beginning of glory. So it's morning glory worship the number seven at gmail.com. Send your prayer requests, send your testimonials. If you feel like just sending us a word of encouragement, either for myself, for Brother Lou, for the ministry, ATL Praise House, I will get it to him. Amen, somebody. Morning Glory Worship, the number seven, at gmail.com. Email me. Sometimes you just don't know what I may be going through and I just need a word of encouragement. Just send an email. Just send an email. 
so send a prayer request send a testimonial I, give I love you I appreciate you remember brother Lou early in the morning wake up tomorrow morning 5am for morning dew so with brother Lou and then tomorrow night right back here with brother Lou for the old school mix we'll take you back to the days of the Sankeys amen somebody and join me next week if you're not following me on Facebook yet look me up if you can't find me try to find me through somebody else that have me already added if you have not subscribed yet subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find these rebroadcasts some of the times these rebroadcasts help me go through my situation you can find them on YouTube I love you guys I'm out God bless you Everything I give
Let's say this thing. I say. again we say Withholding 